Hello everyone, this is KB Spark, and I'm here doing a commentary for Theta Phase 1. Alright, I'm doing this off the top of my head. I'm I do not have any hey, restraints or anything like that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna explain everything I see. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Also, I have committed to not doing any retakes of this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it raw and edit and edit it right here. So yeah, pardon me if I stutter, I have a terrible voice, I know that. I'm not a good public speaker, so I'll just go ahead and just get right down to it. First of all, this video is like a minute or two longer than the actual Theta Phase 1 that I posted. That's because the original, I didn't have, I couldn't post anything longer than 15 minutes. So I had to chop it down a little bit. I had to cut, cut some scenes, well not cut out scenes, I cut them shorter, speed things up a little bit. Which is probably why uh, Be the Devil's Tattoo was not detected by YouTube. That's the song about that plays after the sequence. It was probably not detected because, yeah, it was actually a little bit sped up. It actually didn't, didn't match the sync. I didn't sync up with the original song, so that probably worked out better on my part, even though I probably will never do that again. If I post the the original version, the version that's not choppy and crappy and horribly edited, then, yeah, I might take it out. I'm sorry, just, that might be the case, because I, I do not want to, you know, get attacked by, you know, YouTube's censors or anything like that, or, you know, their policies or so forth. I don't know. Ugh. Okay, this whole sequence here, I kind I kind of regret the writing because I wrote it like a year be a year before I actually wrote the rest of the episode, and the and it's kind of corny. It's I mean, ugh, no no no, not kind of really corny. Just just the uh, the audio, the, not the audio, the the writing and that that I put behind it. Uh, the uh, the voice acting by a guy in RPG was great though. You know the the guy who voices the CDHP operative, also voices Gate Security, who you who you will see in Theta, you know the later Theta episodes. Yes, I am actually producing more episodes, I, pr I promise. Yeah, unconditionally, because I actually have to get new voice actors to fill in the roles, and this time they're on payroll, so which which will mean they'll probably stick around a little bit, little bit longer, but yeah, that's that's reality. I, I made sure that they were good, though. I, I care more about them matching the character than, than matching the voice, the, sp the specifics of the voice, that's, which, is, which is my objective in that. <sighs> and ab about that, on that topic, I'm, I'm sure you're all dying to hear what I have to say on that topic, ooh. Uh, basically, I'll, I'm I'm gonna post it as soon as possible. I'm writing that I already wrote the wrote the first three episodes. Um, I just sent it to the voice actors just recently, or by the by the time I post this, post this, maybe a little bit later, or a little maybe a little bit later. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you, you you can expect that soon. I'm actually considering writing a prelude or like a episode zero type trailer to post before that. If I do it, if I do it though, I'll probably I'll probably write it and finish it with probably within this week. Because, because I don't know, I don't want to waste a lot of time just releasing a pr a preview or a promo. Otherwise, I'll just release a regular trailer. I'll commit to that because school starts in a little bit, and I gotta and I gotta jump on that. Yes, I I'm in high school and I'm doing all this, but hopefully I can do it on a budget now, you know, on a, on a loose budget. Hopefully I can get to the point where I can post a featured video, you know, because you have to pay YouTube in order to do that or be incredibly popular. I don't know how that works, but uh, basically just. Earn earn more fans because I don't want to just you know continue it for the fan sake. I want to grow our fan base. I want to make it bigger. I want to make it more. You know, be be one of the more mainstream machinimas. That's what it was my intention. <sighs> anyway, anyways, interesting fact: all the race on here, basically all their all the warbled crazy dialogue, that was actually recorded by Vic Villain, who was our original Quinn for Theta Phase One. Yeah, you know, but he ended up getting recasted with a Dark Wolf, who was a Quinn in Theta Phase One, Two, and Three. A, and who strangely enough voiced the Raison in Theta Phase Theta Phase Three as well, yeah. You know, basically, both of our Quins were the voice of the Raison. Huh. Oh yeah, some people noticed the Colony Wars font that we used for this. I don't know. I was looking for something spacey, but I think it's a little too showy. Although I think the title kind of stuck. Yeah, right there. See, that I think it kind of stuck. So I'll probably keep it for that though. For everything else, I'll just leave it to a standard font. I don't know. I, I just like to leave it that way. I don't. I wouldn't take this part out if I had to do it again. I, I'm. I'm not that that big of a revisionist, uh, unless it's my my personal, you know, doings or so forth. But I, I don't know. There's something about this scene that kind of kind of bugs me. I think it might be the titles. You know, a little too, a little too flashy. Also, some people ask me how the heck could I get a jeep like that on Spire, like a, a really standard looking jeep. It's actually not Spire. It's a tip of the spear. Uh, the the level in the in the Halo Reach campaign, basically the level where you you, you drive in, it's it's it, that connects to the Spire level, the the multiplayer level, and yeah, basically what I did was went in and killed everybody. 
Yeah, see the grenades and the rifles lying on the floor? That's because I went in and killed everybody and uh, threw the corpses off the cliff. I'm barbaric like that. And basically just waited for the ash and the blood to go away. Which which it does. It's really, really convenient that it could do that. And that's why the barriers were all exploded there. Ugh, horrible transition. I'll just assume that he goes from one bridge to another or something like that. I don't know. You see, you see the back of the cliff right there. And the temperature of the day changed. Also, some people notice that the rifle changes, but who cares? What, really? There were no sniper rifles in the tip of the spear. Oh, yes, the scanner. I, I really wanted something that looked like really low budget, something really clunky and you know, oversized. As, so, yeah, basically, the, to show the contrast between the CDHP and their slick metal interiors and all their advanced weaponry, it, and the BIPD, who are using like more conventional stuff, like regular guns, regular rifles, you know, a really more run-down, dirty base. It basically, basically show, showing the list of priorities for the for youth. Basically, they don't really care about anything that goes on in the Uncharted region, or you know, basically the outland, outlandish area. Because, well, I don't, I'm not sure if I did a good job by establishing this. I'll try my best to, as for the upcoming episodes. But there's, there's actually on this planet, youth, the only planet remaining in the Earth civilization, is basically there's basically like a bubble with one city, and that's it. Yeah, because you know the CDHP is paranoid about the planet. A base of it, it having some sort of a toxic environment, and which is why everybody's wearing the suits because they're trying to filter it out. Damn, Basically, the ETA for actual breath breathable atmosphere is like 12 years or so. Oh, I don't, I don't think I'll ever be able to show them with their helmets off. Somebody had an inter interesting idea, you know, s somebody that I chatted with before of actually having, like, a uh, just c cutting out cutting out the heads of char of characters. I mean, the character model for Mass Effect. You know, basically since it's customizable and just recording having dialogue. But I think that'll look too creepy. I don't know. That's just me. I might experiment with it later or something like that. And and plus, I don't want to branch into other video games for for machinima purposes. That'll be too distracting. Like someone will go, "Hey, that's Starcraft," or "Hey, that's Mass Effect," or "Hey, that's Uncharted," for certain scenes. Even the, or "Hey, that's Skyrim." That environment right there. Uh, no, that wouldn't be a good idea. I I don't know. I might actually. I, I do intend on using like the earlier Halo games though, uh, basically for env environment shots and things like that, uh, or for some more uh, wackier purposes. I will not spoil what I'll do there. Basically, because I think that nobody really does that enough. Yeah, basically, util utilizes the game engine because there are some cool stuff in there. <sighs> oh, I've totally forgotten about the video. Oh, there's a video. Uh, so okay, I had a point. I had a point to make about the scene. There's actually originally supposed to be an, an, somewhat of an audio track in the scene. Basically, a little song that play, a little song that plays. Well, just like basically, it's Eddie's theme. You you hear it very briefly in Data Phase Three Part Two. Oh. Which is pretty much the theme. If I do release an HD version of this episode, which I may have mentioned before, I might include it. But the fact is, I don't, I don't think I ever will. I don't think I ever will release an HD version of this episode. I filmed this scene and the opening scene, basically with the race on attacking in HD. Also, also the whole introduction with Joseph coming in. I filmed that those in HD. But now that I actually have my priorities set out for me and you know the, the next group of theta episodes, I might not. I just I'd rather do something new than just refresh the old material. It's like if you have a black and white comic book and somebody re-releases it in color or something like that, it's like, oh, uh, okay, great. Uh, anything new? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd rather push towards something new. Maybe I can get somebody else to do it if they can do it shot by shot, to do it exactly how I did it and so forth, if I can just give them the sets. Then maybe. I don't want to do it, though. I don't know if I, don't, if I actually have the, I have the money to do it with the videos, because I'm actually... Doing some of a monetization thing right now. Oh, and that might work out. Although, don't don't take me up on that, please. Yo, some of you have been sending me. Oh, great. Now that I put it out there, people will be sending me messages all day. No way, I'm not doing that. Never mind. Forget what I said. Oh yes, Matt, the token red shirt. Basically, his role from the very beginning was to be somewhat of a red shirt character, somebody to kill off. But a lot, a lot like a boon and lost or uh. Jesse and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, basically two two character I mean characters that they set up uh, at the very beginning to make it to fool you like oh he's gonna be a permanent member of the show and then yank yo dead basically it's, a, it's kind of a shock value sort of thing it only you know I wanted to become really memorable like have him come right up and you know introduce himself and make you assume that he'll be the ideal comic relief or or you know sort of character in that so that sort of position but it turns out it's not the case he's actually cannon fodder. Or, although we we didn't have to lose any voice actors for him because he also voices Russ, you know this this guy. 
Oh, also, uh, I actually filmed this whole thing in Halo 3. Yeah, bet you didn't know that, did you? I actually released a promo, I actually released a promo for that, and basically way back when it was supposed to be in Halo 3. Uh, I might release that footage. I haven't filmed everything in, in that, although there's, there are some major differences, like, for instance, Joseph is actually in a Hornet instead of a Jeep in, in the original one, but I actually changed that, changed that out, because first of all, uh, uh, well, if you, if you do play on the Spire, you know, the Halo Reach level, you know that there's a giant energy shield over, or, over everything. So it'll be too distracting to have him, you know, flying in a Falcon. And plus, like, as if they would, as if they would have the budget to transport somebody, one guy in a helicopter, or across, across the region. They, they'd probably be, like, you know what, let's just throw him in a Jeep and have him go for a road trip or something. Who cares? Oh, also, Dark Wolf's voice for Quinn is, a. Uh, it's just a oh, fantastic, fantastic. I mean, every time I listen to that guy, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I have a big grin on my face. Like this guy's perfect. This guy's perfect. Oh, oh yeah. He, he, he was always the, the awesome master. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he actually said that he was gonna come back for the later Theta episodes. I'm really glad for that. Oh, and th this part right here. I'm sorry about the audio, cause. Yeah, I lost half the audio. When I was originally doing this, I had a lot of Halo 1 sound effects and Halo 2 sound effects. The reason for which is because everybody's, well, anybody who's aware with Machinima already, is already aware of the Halo sound effects, and they sound too uh, muted, if you ask me. Everything sounds a little too muted. It doesn't hold that much power. So I replaced that with my own, and that kind of bit me in the ass, because I was like, the day before I was going to post this, like, half the sound effects disappeared. Like, where are they? Where are they? And I had to re replace them with regular sound effects, and... You can kind of notice the effect of it in in this scene right here, cause it's chopping over. I didn't really have time to correct it, or anything like or anything like that, and it just sounds awful. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. It's my bad. I know it's a little bit weird. They're in jeeps, and all of a sudden they're falcons. But I was trying to. I've, originally, they're supposed to be uh, 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 pelicans. In, in, in the game, basically just show some campaign footage of Pelicans going in and dr dropping off the Jeeps. That might have worked out better to my effect, but uh, I, I don't know what end, end, make, made me end up making it Falcons. I guess it's because it didn't work out. Uh, like, sh showing the footage of, of them coming in and dropping the Jeeps. I don't know. I just assume that they're strapped in the back or something like that, or it's got a little pocket or, or something like that. I don't know. Also, I would never have used uh, Forge World if I had known it had been so overused in Machinima. It, it's just, it, it is so overused. I mean, everybody has seen it by now. I mean, even if you even if you haven't, I mean, the grassy tree interior, it's kind of become a cliche in first-person shooters. Like, you know, you got Timberland in Halo, in Halo 1, you know, the PC version. You got Valhalla in Halo 3, and yeah, it's just, I, I kind of regret using it. But at the same time, I did. I did actually film everything in Halo 3, and no maps really fit the description of what I what I had written. So I had so I had to you know utilize Forge World to recreate the sets that I did in there with you know accuracy. Although in future episodes, though, I I hope to use you know, the other maps, as even though the latest one I'm writing, yeah, it will have to utilize some of Forge World, but only only because I believe that what I'm going to do there is actually kind of neat. You know, I hadn't seen it before. I won't, I won't get into that right now. This is not a preview for Theta Phase 4. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to call it Phase 4. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to, you know, ha strong arm new audiences into thinking that, well, eh, well, they should watch the previous episodes, but at the same time, I want to make it accessible to new people as well. That was me doing the voice right there. You can you can obviously tell why I hire voice actors is because I cannot voice actors save my life. Also, that little that little force field you, see, you saw right there. I I, I actually kind of put that in there as a writing challenge to come up with what that was. Basically, it's a it's a force shield uh, protecting in the console to you know u utilize the gates and Katrin you know comes in the next episode actually like broke it to get to get inside and on the way you know met Eddie which is how he managed to save them in Theta Phase 2 also I did a little bit of foreshadowing right here for Joseph's cybernetic secret not, not so much a secret I don't know just 
these guys didn't, didn't really care enough to uh, look into it. Oh, oh yes, in this part uh, of the original video, the, the video I had to chop up, there's a big pause right there, right there, like, just everything goes to blank, and then it comes back. That was a big mistake on my part, All right, and I'm terribly sorry about that. It's just, I had no time, I had pro already promised a release date, even though, like, I don't know, 20 people were really paying attention. I probably should have waited, waited longer. I mean, were it my choice, I would have, I mean, if I, if I had really known how time constricting it would have been, and the computer I made, used to make this was really old, hence the, you know, SD format, I would have split into two parts. I actually have the uh, two-parter version of this on, you know, my desktop. Yeah, basically, it, it, it ends after the Eddie introduction scene. Also, the reason this ray zone right here survives of the shot is because the, basically they have an energy shield going on. More, more about that later. And those two rays on are they're they're way more prevalent in the series. Trust me, it, they have a much bigger part. Uh, I don't know. I might actually do a HD version eventually, but I, as of right now, I'm focused on making new episodes or new content in general. I don't know. Hopefully, this commentary was insightful. I think I miss a ton of things. I might go on. Hmm. No, nothing comes to mind. You know, you know what I might do? I think I might actually add some of the Halo 3 footage after this. Yeah, yeah, I think I might do that. Alright, well, um, goodbye.